Tonight on Super Nanny, <laughs> Joe gets a progress report from the families she's visited. Rylan does not want to brush his teeth. I am still struggling a little bit with craft time. And dishes out new tips when the questions start flying. He's trying to manipulate his way around everything. She's learned how to get her own way from having a temper tantrum. So just remove the child away from the situation. Today I'm on my way to the Gorbea household. You may remember a couple of months ago I helped them with some rather challenging issues. So I'm going to see how they're getting on, how things are for them and at the same time I'm going to be checking in on those other families that I helped too. So before I arrive at the Gorbeas, let's take a look back at one of those families. Hi, we're the Jeans family. I'm David. And I'm Barbara. We have three daughters, Andra, who's four and a half, and twins, Jesse and Leah, who just turned three. Andra gave her parents the hardest time. <laughs> Andra, stop! She was very aggressive, confrontational. Andy! You hurt her, me! Hey, hey! And a real handful of trouble for mum and dad. Dear. There was no such thing as a peaceful mealtime in the Jean's household. David was constantly on edge. Jesse, sit down. No, you don't get it. Hey. And I don't want that. No. <laughs> Once Barbara gained confidence in the techniques I taught her. No, that's unacceptable. That is not acceptable. That is very good. That is very good. Behave yourself. Behave yourself. <laughs> that was brilliant. She no longer felt overwhelmed by the girl's bad behavior. This is where you're going to be if you do that again. Do you understand? Oh, I won't. And I want an apology. <laughs> Sorry. OK. With creative structure added to the girls' day, they weren't bored and misbehaving as often. We're absolutely going to miss Jo. It's been amazing. It's been wonderful to have her here. She has been very supportive. I feel quite tearful. Me too. You've been a real inspiration. Take care. Now let's see how they've been getting on since my last visit. Hi, Joe! Thanks for checking in on us. We miss you. I miss you too. I think the biggest change that I have noticed in the girls since Joe has left has been in our daily routine. See, Joe? They're sharing and they're not fighting over the balloons. They're taking turns. Uh -oh. When we're at home, we're not in free play all day, so they're not bored, they're not getting into trouble. Drop it in! <laughs> really fun! Really fun! See, Joe? They're playing really well together. Super nice. Really? It's fantastic. Our routine that you provided for us is still up. We still use it every day. It really has revolutionized how I get through the day with the kids. When Joe came along and organized everything, it's like day and night because we had no idea what we were doing. The biggest change in our family is to sit down and enjoy a meal. Believe it or not, meal times really are a big improvement. <laughs> Thank you, Joe. This way I can have dinner with my lovely family, my three girls, and my beautiful wife. I think the biggest thing that Joe gave me was my life back. Oh, I feel emotional. I feel better now than I have at any point since my kids were born. We're using a lot of your techniques still. I do have some questions. I am still struggling a little bit with craft time. It's hard for me to find activities that all three of my kids can do at the same time. Do I always have to keep all three of them together? And if you have any suggestions about that, that would be great. When it comes to the art class, put everything in the middle of the table and let them decide now. Now you have structure in your day, it's important that the girls lead. 
their activity. The fact is you've got them all together being creative and that's the main thing. So keep up the good work. Bye, Bye We miss you. Now the Gorbeers had their fair share of challenges too. So let's take a look back at that. Hello, we're the Gorbea family. I'm Robert. I'm a service technician for a local phone company. And I'm Evelina, and I'm a collection rep for the phone company. We have three children. Demetrius is nine, Mia is eight, and Adam is two and a half. Adam was a very clingy child. He was attached to Evelina's hip 24-7. Oh, he's clinging on for dear life then. But Evelina also had a problem letting go of Adam too. I'm just almost crying. I can't handle his face. I don't understand why it's so hard for me. It's something so simple. Here, Adam, you stay there. Why is it so hard for me? Because Adam was so needy, Demetrius and Mia felt like they really didn't get enough of Mum's attention. Do you get time with Mummy? Not that much. No, was it? Just Adam. Oh, how does that make you feel? I just wish that we can go on a vacation without Adam. Putting Adam to sleep was an absolute nightmare. Want to sleep in your bed? No, no. What we're establishing is that if Adam comes out, that he goes straight back into his crib because that's where he sleeps. <laughs> OK, he's coming for a minute. <laughs> when it came to helping out around the house, Robert, he was just plain lazy. It's the weekend. And that means it's Mr. Mum time. <laughs> What's it? No, 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 no. Come on, Robert, get real. I am going to teach you how to put a hoover over the house. Give Dad some praise. Yeah. Because it wasn't easy for him today and he broke out a hard sweat. <laughs> I know, I can see. I actually feel good. Like I really accomplished something. Robert. You've gone from caveman to modern man. <laughs> Give us a hug. Thank you. Bye. I'm so excited to see mum and dad and the kids. I really miss them. We're here. That's fantastic. <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you all. I was so happy to be back at the Gorbeers house because I couldn't wait to see how much they'd got along since my last visit, especially with Adam. How's this little one been? He's been doing excellent. Yeah, he's not so clingy. He's a lot more independent and seems like he's not bothered when I'm in a different room and he's keeping busy with his toys or his brothers and sisters. It's been really good, just because I realize how much space it allows myself when he's just grown so much since. It's great to see that Adam isn't clinging to Evelina like he used to, and she's let go as well. Do you sleep in your bed? Yeah. Well, all by yourself? Yeah. Oh, give me five, yeah, give me a cuddle. Our life has changed. Adam goes to sleep on his own now, all night long in his own bed. He doesn't put up a fight. We've been sharing the duties. I bathe them and then get them cleaned up and then I hand them off to her and she puts them to bed. You've stepped it up. You know, you've set a precedent now for every man. <laughs> Before I met him, Robert used to laze around in his throne all day. But we fix that now. And I'm really proud of Robert because he's continuing to play an active role in his family. What's so lovely is to come back I know that you guys have been motivated to keep it going. Oh, so definitely. It's completely just turned everything around for us. I am most proud of Robert's commitment to us as a family and the fact that he carried through with this and he's so much more helpful than before. 
love to show you some footage on the DVD that I've brought with me. I thought it would be useful for Evelina to take a look at some of the footage of the other families I had visited. She's certainly not alone with some of the issues that she had. OK, so let's take a look at this DVD footage with the Wishmeyer family. Okay. And they had similar situation to what you had okay. with Demetrius and Mia. And it was about Jared. Oh, and he felt left out, really, with his mum and dad oh, yeah. and how yeah. they communicated. OK. Hi, we're the Wishmeyers. I'm John, and this is my wife, Melora. We have three children. Jared, he's nine. And then our twin daughters, Ashlyn and Aliyah, are four. Jared felt that he was getting blamed for the girl's bad behaviour. And when he tried to explain himself to mum, just felt like he wasn't being heard. Uh-uh. OK, I'm asking them nicely to leave. I asked them nicely for No, dollars. you didn't. It's your tone of voice, Jared. It's really important that you always tell mummy what's going on in here. Any time he has something that he wants to share, put it into the box. I want you to feel like you can come and talk to me about anything, OK? And that is the same situation that you had with Demetrius and Mia. Yeah. Jared didn't have time with Melora because of the girls. Yeah. Ashlyn and Aliyah had big attitudes. They <coughs> and they would yell all the time. <coughs> they would talk back. Sicky butt. You know what? I don't know what to do. Na -na 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 -boo -boo. Why do you have the toaster out? Oh my god. And I have three kids that are totally out of control. And they wouldn't sleep unless it was on their terms. <laughs> <laughs> you could find yourself doing this 50 times. I can see that. Once I showed Melora and John how to be consistent with the discipline. It's getting quieter. Do you notice that? Mm -hmm. Things got a lot better. <laughs> The bed technique is wonderful. I think it should be handed out at birth to every mother and dad in the world. Hey. How's that going with Adam? It saved us. I don't have to tell him to go back in his bed because he does not get out of bed once. Fantastic. Let's see how the wish are doing now. Hi, Hi Joe. Joe. Thanks for checking in on us, Joe. We're all doing fine. Got her there. <laughs> Things in my family since Joe left has been wonderful. <laughs> Life before was nuts. I mean, I was trying to work two part time jobs and raise three kids and work at home. Can you believe you're going to be in the fifth grade? No. She has time for us now. I can talk to her. And I have Jared's thought box that you made for him to put all of his thoughts and ideas in for him to talk to me about. It's been working out well for both him and I. I feel like Jared and I are becoming very close now, and he feels like he can come to me with anything. What position do you think you'll play? Teacher, me. You think? Maybe. See? <laughs> Quality time together. Look at them. Be a mom, get to talk. I feel like I don't have to hide anything from her anymore. We have Joe to thank for that. The biggest change since Joe was here is, the, is getting the girls to go to sleep. I hear nothing, so that's a good sign. I do think Joe's transformed me as a parent. I think I'm a better mom. I think I'm a better listener. Oh, the big coloring book? And when you were here with us, I think they were going to the Naughty Corner four to five times a day each. Now that you've left us since Christmas, Aliyah's only been to the Naughty Corner one time, and Ashlyn's been to the Naughty Corner zero times. So yay for the Naughty Technique. It's working for us great. Thanks a lot, Joe. We're just a better family. Hi, Joe. I have a question for you. The girls will be going to kindergarten next year, which will be full-time school for them. And I was just wondering if you have any suggestions on implementing the discipline technique at school, if the teachers should do that, or if that's something that I should do only in my home. Mm. That's a really important question that Melora's brought up here because you're going to have that situation with Adam soon. I think it's really important that you communicate with Adam's teacher. Make sure that there's consistency okay. running in your home and at school. Okay. If Adam knows that there's a discipline in place in his home, and if he knows that there are consequences for his unacceptable behaviour at school, then you're both on the same page. And that's what you want.
So what are you guys doing today? Uh, we're going to go to the park. I'm going to take them to go and play with their cousins. So uh -huh. would you like to come with us? I'd love to come. All right. It's absolutely beautiful outside. Oh. Gonna go Hi. on the slides. Hi. When we got there, I met Irene and her daughter, Carolyn. She's here one second, she's gone. Yeah, but that's good. You're in the playground having fun and she's playing. I mean, of course you have to watch and see where she is. Yeah. But every parent does. Every parent needs to have eyes at the back of their head to know where their children are in the playground. What about a temper? She yells at me, she yells at her brother, she yells at yeah. whoever. She's learnt how to get her own way from having a temper tantrum. Mm -hmm. So you need to make sure that you show her that you're in charge. And the way you do that is to be consistent with how you set expectations for her and also how you discipline her. Mm -hmm. That's why she thinks she's boss, because she says one thing and you laugh and then she gets away with it. While we were playing around in the park, some mums and dads started to approach me with some questions they had about their kids. He's very smart and he's always trying to manipulate his way around everything. And he, he just really knows how to work us and we just wanted to know how to beat him at his own game. You know why he manipulates? Because you can. Because <laughs> yeah. you allow it. Yeah. So don't look at it like a game. He's seven years old, he's a bright boy, and he just knows what buttons to push because he's been getting away with it so long. It's up to you as the parent to always have a firm line so that they know what's expected of them, and you'll see that your children will deliver. Because they want to please, that's what they want to do. Aren't you the super nanny? I am. Yeah. Is this your little one? This is one of my little ones. Oh, how old? Two years old. Two years old. I have two other two-year-olds. Triplets. Triplets. Oh, shake my hand. <laughs> You've got your work cut out for you. I have a question for you. Yeah. One of our triplets goes into violent rages, yeah. and uh, we're just afraid that she might uh, hurt herself or one of her siblings sometime. What can we do about that? She bites, hits her head on the walls. I think it's important to to make sure that you understand why she's doing it. A lot of times it's because somebody comes up and takes a toy from her and she wasn't ready to give up right. the toy. Exactly, so what's important, because you've got three of them, make sure that she has her own special toy. Teach them how to share. Set up games so they can learn how to play together because that's what they're going to have to do anyway. Right. Because it's three of them, you know? When Dad went to chase one of the triplets, I got a chance to talk to Mum. Aww. And he's the one who's got the bite marks all over him because he's the one who usually gets bitten. Yeah, yeah. Your children do need to know that that behaviour is unacceptable because little ones like this end up being on the brunt of it all. We usually put them in time out, but it's like 10 minutes later they seem to forget that... Well, how old are your children? They just all turn two. They've all turned two. So at the moment, for them, it may be still young to grasp that concept. OK. So just remove the child away from the situation that they're trying to manipulate so that they realise, oh, when I behave like this and I bite, okay. it means I can't play and have fun okay. with my brother and sister. OK. OK? And be consistent with it. <laughs> sweeties, I look at them. Oh, yeah. Exactly. They are all sweeties. But it's always, um, always going to be juggling. It is. It's always going to be finding that balance between the three of them because you've got your hands full, that's yes. for sure. <laughs> Since all the children were playing nicely, I thought it would be a good opportunity to pull Evelina aside and check in on another family. <sighs> nice and peaceful. So how's Dad been getting on with the kids? Good, good. He's been a lot more involved. Well, I can see him over there with a the bucket and spades. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, it gives you a chance to breathe, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it have got Adam clinging and means that Dad's taking more. Yeah. Time out with the kids and, and they're having some of his time. Yes, definitely. Let's take a look at the Ryrie family. Let's see what they're up to. Hi, we're the Ryries. I'm Jen. This is well, Scott. Scott. <laughs> we have four children. Our daughter, Celia, is nine. Halden is seven. We've also got a three-year-old, Blake, and Brody, our one-year-old. Blake calls the most grief for Mum. Blake! Because he was always wandering off and it left Jen fearing for his safety. Hey, stop, Blake! Did you see that car? <sighs> it was a huge ordeal taking Blake out in public. Blake, this way. Do not run. No, no, no. Do... This is not working. So I had to teach Mum how to keep him by her side. Stop, stop, Blake! Stop. Put your hands out so he recognises the hand. Good job! You carry on. Mealtimes in the Ryries would be a disaster. 
I'd like to have us all sit down at the same time. Chew it and swallow it, please. Because they'd always be snacking on junk food throughout the day. I am going to clear the snacks that I think are absolute trash. <laughs> no. Oh! All gone. So how do you guys resolve your conflicting opinions as a couple? We really don't, do we? No. So they've got a disagreement in parenting like Robert and I did, trying to see eye to eye on different issues and yet they don't come to an agreement. Exactly. Let's take a look at them now. Hi, Jojo. We're the Ryrie family. We just wanted to say hi. I miss Jojo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there are enough words to describe how happy I am <laughs> since Joe has come. It's truly made me just a completely different person. <laughs> Was in it first. It Joe empowered Jen with the authority to tell the kids what they can and can't do, and it's definitely helped our family. This is your warning. If you don't get out of this car, you're going on the naughty circle. One, two. The new Jen <laughs> is in control. <laughs> Wee, nice, Blake. She knows what she's doing, and I'm much more confident in parenting. <laughs> What's great about the Naughty Circle is that we don't really have to use it that much anymore. Huh, Blake? Well, usually all we have to say is, okay, Blake, one more time, and you're going on the Naughty Circle, and that's, that's about it. Are you tired? No. <laughs> the roaming technique has been amazing for me. Blake no. does extremely well with it. You stopping? Good. Thank you. The stop signs are great. They keep Blake in the house safe where he should be. Huh. And he's being a great teacher to his younger brother, too, aren't you? Yeah! <laughs> it's given me a whole new freedom now that I can actually take the kids out in public. We're doing really, really well with all the techniques that you taught us. Uh, we've got our family routine that we follow religiously, and it's working out really well. The kids know when it's time for snacks, and uh, they're doing great at mealtime. So I think you'd be really proud of us. I don't see them snacking as much anymore, especially on junk food. So I think it's been better for their health that they eat better food now. Hold on, bring me your plate. One of the amazing things that Joe did for us was to improve my relationship with Scott. Here's our same page, and Jen and I are still using it. Yeah, it's working out really well. We're taking time to discuss any issues that might come up. Never in a million years did I think that the impact on our family would be this dramatic. I never thought that it would change as much as it has. Having Joe come and work with us has just changed our family tremendously. I really feel like she saved us. Brody's entering, you know, the terrible twos, and I feel like we've just kind of escaped those with Blake, and now Brody's coming upon them, so I would just wonder what I could do to prevent, you know, Brody from getting to where Blake Blake was. <laughs> That's an important question. She actually was worried and anxious mm -hmm. that she wouldn't be able to enforce any form of discipline with her younger son because she went through such a nightmare oh. with Blake. And that's all about confidence. That's something that I see shine <laughs> from you now. I'm a lot more confident, yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. I am I carry through with what I threaten, mm -hmm. and if I tell Adam he's gonna go to the naughty chair, then mm -hmm. if he continues, he goes. So, keep confident. Yeah. Bye, Joe! Bye! Bye. Bye. After a full fun day in the park, we were finally ready to go home. Okay. Joe, there's somebody here to see you. Hello. Hi, how are you? I'm okay, how are you? Hi. <laughs> My cab gave me away. So, I'm sure you guys are here because you've got questions for me, right? Yeah. I want to try and answer all of your questions today. Okay, so um, who wants to start first? I have a question. My name is Lisa and I have two children at home. I'm expecting a third child. Congratulations. And how do I prepare my children so they don't become incredibly jealous when I bring the other child home, considering I have a one-year-old? I think it's important that you make sure that you involve your other two children as much through the pregnancy as you can. Because sometimes when a new baby comes on the scene, they start worrying, where's my place in the family? But also equally, when you have had the child, make sure that other people around you support you so you can give your other two children attention so they don't feel like they've got to fight for your time. Okay, thank you so much. Good luck. I appreciate it, thank you.
Hi. Hi, my name is Terry. I'm a single mom. I have four children and work two jobs. One of my jobs takes me away overnight as a flight attendant, and when I come back, so my children are acting out, and I'm just wondering what I can do to make that time of re-entry less stressful for all of us. Who looks after him when you're away? Um, I have a babysitter, but in addition, I have one of my children is 17 years old. I think it's important that you make sure that you have a schedule that works for when you're home and for when you're not at home, so that the co-carers when you are away are on the same page as you so that your children get that consistency. But also be realistic with how much you're giving that 17 year old to do. I've got to say foremost, you need some you time because what you do is just absolutely amazing. Thank you. Hi Joe, my name is Diane and I have three kids. My question for you is regarding my youngest son. He's recently developed the habit of waking up in the middle of the night around 3 a.m. He jumps out of his bed and runs frantically for the front door. He's hysterical. Sometimes it takes us 15, 20 minutes to calm him down. First establish whether he's asleep or whether he's awake. If he's awake, then he's got himself into a bedtime habit that needs to be broken. If he is asleep and he keeps going down, make sure the doors bolt. If he wakes up, then reassure him as a mother that, you know, everything is okay. But if you find that this is going on for months, then I would recommend to you take him to a sleep consultant so they can look deeper into it. Okay, thank you. Whilst you're all here, I just want to say that parenting is meant to be fun. It's meant to be a wonderful experience in your life. So that is, that's what you want to achieve. Thank you, I'm going to go in now. Thank you. Bye. 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 Dinner's ready. After feeding the children, Evelina and Robert had plans to go out for dinner. But Adam wasn't feeling well at all. Adam's yeah, got an ear infection. Been bothering him, so that's why I was kind of reluctant. I know you wouldn't normally go out no. because he's not well. But the fact that you have got family looking after him justifies it in your own heart. Mm -hmm. And you're only oh, yeah, going to be gone for a couple of hours. Yeah, if that. Yeah, and I have a question too because when Adam's not feeling well, of course, he gets irritable and he whines a lot and he doesn't want his brother and sister next to him. Do I discipline him in that instance? It was a good question that Evelina asked me because many parents have the same concerns. Can you discipline your child when they're sick? If you find behaviour from Adam that is unacceptable because he kicks them and he pinches them and he starts acting aggressive. Yes, you do have to put him on the naughty chair because if he was really truthfully sick with fever and vomiting and having an infection, you wouldn't get that from him. Like that. Because you know what your child's like when they're really poorly. So what I am going to say to you is go out and enjoy yourself this evening and have a good time because you truly do deserve it. Oh, thank you so much. I'm proud of you. You did really well. Oh, yeah, we're <laughs> moving forward. We've moved forward. Look at that <laughs> smile, huh? Come and play with Toto. Come on. Let's go and play. Will you let Mummy get dressed? I'll see you in a minute. Okay. As Evelina was getting ready to go out for dinner, her relatives came over to look after the children. All right, guys, we're out of here. Oh, okay, guys. Hey, Bye. You know what? Have a good time. Hey. And they were saying their goodbyes. Adam threw a fit. It's okay. Yeah. Hugs, cuddles, don't delay it, and then just get up and you go, darling. They'll be fine. This was a big step for them because in the past, Adam has always been so clingy that it's always been hard for Evelina to separate herself from him. Tonight will be a big test for her and for Adam. <coughs> okay, if he's doing that, just say to him, Mummy, coming back soon, they've gone for something to eat. And if he wants to be like that, then he'll come away and give me space. They'll come round. Be fine. I'm gonna set some toys out for you. Right, Adam, we're gonna play some games now. No, will you come over when you want to, okay? What did he say? You wanna do the card game? Show me what game you wanna play. I'll play with you. Say to him, I can't hear you when you're making this noise. You need to talk Adam. to me properly. Adam, what? you need to talk to me properly, honey. Look at me. What do you want to play, honey? The race card game. The race, the race card, card game? game okay. I hope Mum gets to see this, because in five minutes he calmed down. This is so common that parents, when they leave to go out for the evening, it pulls at their heartstrings because their kids are like, oh, don't go, don't go. And literally, look, Adam, within five minutes, had calmed down. You get the door for you. <laughs> So you're worried about the kids? Yeah, I'm worried about Adam, mostly. wonder how he's doing. He's fine, right? The super nanny watching him. He's in good hands. 
Good night chairs. Good night blocks. Good night socks. See you time. Good night. Good night snows. Mm -hmm. Good night snow. Whilst the kids are winding down and getting ready for bed, let's take a look at another family. Okay, hi, we're the Bullards. I'm Jen and this is Bryce. Hello. And we're here to talk about our two kids, Brycey, who's six, no! and Rylan, who's two. Dad! The Bullards had their hands full. <laughs> on the 24-hour business from home. Businesswoman now. And Jen was constantly answering the phone. Buller plumbing. <laughs> so it doesn't stop ringing. Because of this, the children were lacking the attention they needed. So, Jen, you get to eat tonight? I do get to eat tonight. <laughs> Just a little later. OK, here we go. Buller plumbing. The Bullards needed to get their priorities straight. Where you see red, it means that you need to have the phone off. It's because they're crucial to your family. Once we had established the schedule with the phones, the next big issue was to get Ryland sleeping in his crib. Come here. Come here. Brycey, hold on a second, please. Ryland just does not want to go to bed at night. Come on. Jen and Bryce were going to use the sleep separation technique with Rylan to get him off to sleep, OK? You keep calm. Daddy's sleeping. Rylan, it's time for a night. And you sit down. Mom. So he can see the side of your face, Mom. but you're not giving him eye contact. I honestly could not have done that without Joe. Once the phones were turned off, the kids became their priority and Jen and Bryce found the balance that they desperately needed. It's been such a great experience for my whole family. Let's see how they're coming along. Hi, Joe. Thanks for checking in on us. The schedule that Joe gave us has been working really well. We, we've been sticking to it. Probably my favorite part of the schedule is the begin bedtime routine. The sleep separation technique has probably made the hugest impact in my household. Good for you. We all get so much more sleep now, and Rylan just goes to bed beautifully. The schedule is important to our family because it gives us the time with our kids and we know that we have that time blocked out for our children only. The phones don't get answered, business is not done, that is our children's time and that's very important and I think it's made a huge difference in my kids. I think Bryce has gotten used to um, the phones as well because <laughs> now instead of turning the phones off we have them forwarded to his. Yeah, I just have all the calls forwarded to my cell phone now. We still have the naughty mat, as you can see. Um, I know you gave us two, but we went down to one. I just found that it was easier just to have one visual for the kids for time out. Um, it's been working awesome, and we really appreciate it. Thank you. With Bricey and the naughty mat, it usually just takes a warning. I really don't even recall the last time he actually had to go. Yeah. Rylan's doing a lot better, as you can see. He's not running around the kitchen anymore. So we're really happy about his table manners now. <laughs> Her techniques don't just change you as a parent, they really change you as a person. Okay, throw it back. I love Super Nanny's techniques. I can't imagine life without them now. It really worked, and we just want to say thank you. I'd like to say thank you too, Joe. We really appreciate everything you've done. We, You're welcome. we love you, Joe. We miss you. Hi, Joe. I have a question for you. Um, Rylan does not want to brush his teeth, and I've been trying to put him on the naughty mat, and he does go. Uh, but after the two minutes, he still doesn't want to brush his teeth. So at this point, I'm lost, and I don't know what to do, and I would love it if you could help us with that. Teeth brushing, it's got to be done. It's a life skill. So make sure that you make it fun for the boys, OK? Don't put Rylan on the naughty mat. Right. Instead, encourage him to do it. Make it fun. So play with it. Move it around a little bit within his bedtime routine and good luck. Sleep tight. Night, night. Adam's asleep. He's gone down in his crib. It's really fantastic to see him. Sleep tight, OK? OK. It was getting late, so I said my goodbyes the kids. When it came to Demetrius, he gave me a beautiful letter thanking me for helping his family. Thank you. It's this beautiful writing to keep in touch. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Now 
now the children are all asleep, let's take a look at the Orm family. Hi, we're the Orm family. I'm Tammy. And I'm Sean. And we are here to talk about our three little boys, Chandler, who's eight, Caden, who's six, and Declan, who is three. With three boys, this house was full of chaos. Chandler would back chat his mum. Clean up the toy room. No. Chandler? You know why I wasn't doing well? Because you. Hayden made mealtimes a headache. Honey, we're not having three pebbles for dinner. I make him something different almost every night. And Declan would just continuously wander into the street. The boys, they pull Tammy in every direction. They do share with them, but they never share with me. Now, sit on your butt. No. What did you say? Tammy's soft approach in discipline. Kaden, Chandler, honey, don't yell at me, sweetheart. Clashed with Sean's lack of tolerance. You yelled at me in the first grade. No yelling, Daddy, OK? OK. Once the boys realised there would be consequences for their actions, I explained to him why I put him in the room. Mommy warned you not to hit your brothers. Their behaviour changed dramatically. <laughs> I'm super proud of you, honey. Can I just get by someone? That was the you know best dinner I think we've ever had. had. How to be a ranger. Good, that was very good. To actually see her come in here and work wonders on our family was more than I could have ever hoped for. It was uh, an amazing experience for, for all of us. Oh. Let's take a look at them now. Hi, Joe! Thanks for checking in on us. <laughs> Life has changed a lot for us since the Super Nanny came. A lot more peace in the house. I'm back! And I brought gifts! Not of a need to yell anymore, which was really, really a big thing for me. Great time, actually. I think more than anything, as parents, we've come together. I spent all my money that you gave me. And learned to communicate a little bit better. The kids are actually listening, sitting down, eating. All right, guys, turn on the TV, it's time for lunch. Sure, Mom. Thank you. Sitting down at the dinner table was an important part of the day for us, and it wasn't a peaceful time before Joe got here, but now it is. Thank you, Mom. You're welcome, sweetheart. Caden eats his food. That's a really big thing for me. You guys eat your yogurt? And you get to have special lollipops that you made because they're ready. We still buy snacks, but we don't need to buy snacks like we used to because they're not eating snacks all day and going through them. It's been a positive experience for Tammy and I. I think it's brought us closer together as a whole family. Good. This here is the naughty room. It's a really effective place for us. The naughty room is for when we be very naughty. Yeah. Really, really naughty. And you sit in there for six minutes. <laughs> there you go. It's changed their attitudes. I mean, all you do is, is pre-warn them of it. You know, if you do something wrong, you're going to the naughty room. You're going the wrong ah. way. There you go. Timeout was not working for us. The naughty room works for us. Oh. I'm extremely thankful for Joe's visit. Joe was extremely helpful to us. Not only was she a wonderful person to meet, and my kids absolutely loved her, and they were sad to see her go, um, she just left us with so much. We love you, Joe. She's really good at what she does. Bye-bye, Joe. We miss you. Uh... Hi. Hello. It's quiet. I don't hear no kids. <laughs> when Evelina and Robert had come home from dinner, they expected to hear that Adam had given us a hard time. Good, everything went really good. Adam didn't do a spasmo when we left? A little bit, but five not minutes. even, I don't even think it was five minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. We had a great time. This is a good learning curve for Robert and Evelina. They now know that they can go out for the evening and their kids will be fine. And after all, parents need to make time for themselves. This is for you to show our appreciation. Uh, oh, can I put it now? Sure. Oh. Well, I've every time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I need a tissue now. It's, it's pretty on you. <laughs> <laughs> so good to see you. Really good to see you. I'm so proud of you. You've come far. Yeah. You've come really far. Take care. <laughs>
Mm. I'm incredibly proud of the Gorbia family and the other families. They've all come a long way because they put the sheer hard work into it. I also look forward to meeting the other families out there that need my help too.